I'm going to show you how to deal with these things. These are Void Fragments. They can be done solo or with a party, which is advantageous because they do require a specific element to activate. If you look in the map here, this person's waiting for me to do it for them. Look, you need the correct attribute to activate it. So in this case, this is a non-attribute tower. And so I can activate this with Ajax and begin the mission. There are obviously all sorts of different elemental towers to do. You can see at the top that we have a mission counter. So in this case, we need to eliminate 46 enemies. And that is going to allow us to move on to the next stage of this kind of elimination mission. Once that's done, then we will need to, again, with the correct element continue to damage the fragment until it is destroyed. In this case, we do it three times and the mission is now complete. When you come over to different maps, you're going to find all sorts of different variants of these that are going to give you different rewards. But the main thing that you're after here are the shards. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the tooltip, when you go over one, it will show you that we're going to get these organic or monomer void shards. The one in Kingston is fairly decent because it gives you one of each of the four or the base four that you need at the beginning of the game. And those shards are used to activate these void fusion reactors, which have their own sets of rewards.